I'm crafting Vicky here with you and today you're in for a different type of video um, there's gonna be all kinds of different things in it um, we're gonna start with some happy mail and then I will be sharing with you um, some stuff that I did digitally and I will share with you um, part of how I did it and then how to use your computer for it so anyway I'm gonna try to put in the description box below the timelines for all of this and you can decide which part you want to watch at uh, which uh, you know if you want to skip everything well you can you can skip whatever section you want so the first thing I wanted to share with you was some happy mail I got this from Australia from Jen Davis and look at the gorgeous card that she sent it's just beautiful and she included an amazing tip now I didn't have a chance to try it out yet um, so I don't know how good I would be at this and I believe I will probably have to try it quite a lot before I can actually do this properly but she says to use scotch magic tape 3m the 810d you line up the the, the tape on the bottom side of the um, the word stickers you know the, the ones that I have so much trouble with um, that are on those tiny little sheets then you remove from the backing and you place the item and then you remove the um, magic tape and you're left with a straight line sentiment and yeah so <laughs> I love the idea I'm not sure how good at it I would be um, so we shall see I will be trying that offline and seeing how good I am before I actually go and share share this on a video but I love the tip so thank you very much for taking the time for writing to me and sending it to me and the the card is just beautiful then the next is from Maureen Johnson uh, she sent me more happy mail so I'm super lucky super blessed uh, she sent me a beautiful little Easter card I love it love it love it love it and she sent me a little letter and I love that she used this paper from I guess from a happy planner or something because it has the little hole for a happy planner so I love it and she also included some more little goodies so more little words today's the day smiles are free but they're worth a lot yes definitely start each day with a smile little coffees I love little coffees those are going into my journal coffee and crafting yep happy life this is a cute little just a little um, background then one happy life start each day with a grateful heart and there's little eyelashes so thank you so very much those are so cute and they will be used for sure in some of my um in my obonichi probably so i really really appreciate it um so sweet then i got two things from francis the first one is a beautiful card and check that out isn't it beautiful so pretty oh and she sent a bunch of other goodies in here <laughs> she says wishing you and your family a happy Easter lots of love Frances Duncan and not forgetting the dogs yeah she's got the most amazing little cuties so cute so check out the beautiful butterflies oh I love it oh what a cutie oh these are so sweet oh she looks like she's so sad so does she and some more of the butterflies so it's a butterfly card so let's put this here and let's open up the other package that she sent I'm trying to not share the address so that's what's going on because obviously I don't want to be sharing people's address on YouTube okay so oh another beautiful card 
I love these cards with the 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 fact that you layer them. Very pretty. Very pretty. Woo! There's a little piece. Oh, this is so sweet. And here is the the kit. And she said she said that she had this kit and and was using it for somebody, but the person passed. And I'm so, so sorry about that. And uh, so she sent me the rest of the kit. So now I've got all the butterflies. And the beautiful paper that goes with it. So you know that this will be used for sure in other videos. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So, thank you so much, Francis. This is so sweet. I really appreciate it. Love the cards. That's the best part of the whole thing. Then, the next, the next one is actually a kind of unboxing. It's from um, In Love Art, and they, they were willing to do another collaboration with me, so they sent me some more goodies that I could share with you guys and I will be using these in the um, in what I make today so there's this beautiful washi which has the, the stamps and I love it so much that I got two of it I guess because I had gotten this one the last time but I really just adore that all those letters it's very cool I, I just think it adds such a nice touch to to something so very pretty then uh, there's these beautiful stamps and these stamps what I loved about them well obviously is the little girl with the books got to love that but then there's a little paintbrush little pencil kit um, so I thought this would be great for my Obunichi to use as a decoration because obviously this is uh, something that is fitting so so yeah I got these and I am looking forward to using them in my oboe so then the next two is wonderful wonderful papers so this one is time flies this one is brilliant life let's open up this one first so this one I thought was going to be great for any masculine cards because sometimes it's hard to decide what you want to use for a masculine card and I find that this type of um, thing is perfect. So it's, a si it's 6 by 6 there's 24 sheets and there's two design of each one. And all the items from In Love Art, you can find the uh, link in the description box below. You will also find the, um, the discount code if you want to get a discount on your purchase there. And yeah. Oh, somebody's calling. Wait two seconds. Okay, so here we go. I love these clocks, so cute. So those are all these papers and I'm, I'm looking forward to using them like I said into um, more like of a masculine type of card. That's That was my take on this. And then, whoops. I won't be able to put it back. No. Okay, good. So, actually ripped. <laughs> um, oh well. So, that's the pack. And the one that we're going to be using today is this one, which is Brilliant Life. And I just fell in love with the colors in this set. It's just stunning. So again, it's a 6x6. Six six, 12 design 
Um, so two sheets per design and you can see all the beautiful designs here but I'm gonna go through them. So you've got this and the colors are just awesome. Awesome. Gorgeous. Love them so much. So beautiful. I mean, it's just stunning. The, I love the purples and the pinks. And then there's these, and these are the ones that we're going to be using today. So we're going to be using five of them. So these two and one of these. And I'm going to put the rest away for another time, but they're beautiful. So highly recommend you go to go and check them out. And like I said, don't forget in the description box below the link to um, the items as well as the discount code. So we're making postcards today and these are perfect because they're already six by six. So you can just put them and obviously my cardboard is not necessarily perfect so it's there's a little bit of a difference but that's what happens when I cut anything. I've already pre-stamped all of these so I'm going to be using these and the the thing that I want to use on top of these is actually some of my flowers so I will be inserting um, a video on how to put these on to some um, on your word document but I wanted to share with you guys the, the process of what I did so basically I did these uh, very lightly because I want to hand color them with coloring pencils and I did them small because I want to put them in frames to sell in my Etsy store so that hasn't happened yet so this is gonna be coming soon but I thought they were so beautiful that I wanted to scan them now the thing is with scanning these because they're so light it, it took a lot of hard work to make them darker so that it would be line work that could actually be seen um, and then what I did is I printed the line work and then I colored them with my Copics so you can see I printed it on Nina paper and hand colored the images so these are the images that are in my Etsy store so you've got the sets work with um, you've got one colored image and one black and white image and the um, so the end there's sets of two uh, flowers so you get four digital image um, per set and they were all handmade and so I'm sharing with you guys in the clip that you're going to be seeing now how to resize these and put them um, on regular cardstock the cardstock paper so this is just regular copy paper and I sized them so that I could use them as my image for for my postcards so I will be inserting the clip right now on how to do that. Okay, so today it's a bit different than the usual uh, videos that I make for card making because I want to share with you guys in this video how I do, I take my digital images and make them into a Word document so then I can print it and use it in my work. I've already shared this in the past, but I wanted it to be all in the same video so this way you guys can don't have to go and search for the other video. Um, you can if you want to, but just in case you don't, um, this way you've got everything in the same video. So basically once you've done, you've got your, your images, you've downloaded them to your computer, they're gonna be in a file. So you go to that file and you're gonna see your little images. This time around I'm using the colored image because I've already colored those images and worked so hard on them that I wanna give myself a little break and use the pre-colored image that I did. But if I wanted, I could redo, I could have just chosen the black and white 
and you can do the same thing that I'm going to share with you with the black and white and you, then you can color it. So you can print it on any kind of paper. If um, when I colored these I did it on Nina paper so I put the black and white image and then I just um, that's it I, I just printed it on my computer um, on my printer with the Nina paper in it. Uh, you could do it on regular uh, copy paper and then color it with uh, some um, coloring pencils or something else if you want. Um, just choose the paper accordingly to what you've got, what you want to do. And I just realized that I didn't show what I did really. Well, you might have seen, but maybe I went too fast. So you click on, you right click on the image and you do copy. And then you just go on to your document and you right click on your document and you choose the paste option. So now you've got your image. We're going to size it down a little bit just so that, so you just take the corner and you bring it down like that and you go into page layout, wrap text, do tight and this will allow you to move your image wherever you want on the page without having to have the issues of the margins and everything that would come with a Word document. So we're going to place it like this and we're going to do the same thing with the others. So right click, copy, right click, paste and do tight bring the corner down and this way you've got your image and you can place it wherever you want. I'm going to try to optimize these so that I can I can use many on on a sheet of paper. Um, this would be an 8.5 8 by 11. So we're going to choose this one, do copy, paste, tight, bring it down and move it around to where you want and obviously because I did these it's actual line drawings that I did with a color with a regular pencil so if you make them very big like here you will see like little lines and stuff and and it's kind of normal because I mean these and I didn't do them on the computer they, they're really um, images that I hand drew uh, on uh, on some cardstock, and then I scan them and try to clean them up as much as possible, so that you would get uh, get a good quality image. And that's what I did. Um, therefore, if you want the best qualities, um, don't make them too big. When you, you make them smaller, there the quality of the image is gonna is going to be, be much better. Um, my take on this was that I made these mostly for if you were making cards um, that you could use them for card making but obviously if you want to you can you can size them like I said the way you want um, and just have fun with them. These are all for personal use. Um, you can and colored them or use my colored image to make cards to sell the cards but do not sell the image um, because I worked really hard on these and they're my work so and I don't want them to be shared online either because basically that that would be like taking all my work and um, yeah so hopefully you guys understand and you can appreciate the work that went into them and you can actually use them and make as many projects as you want which is kind of fun because i'm thinking like and you could and color them and make them the way you want but you could make like let's say a full set of with this image and then you can make uh cards that you can give to somebody um, that would make a really fun set and you don't have to um to color the images yourself it's also much less expensive than purchasing toppers because you can reprint these as many times as you want so that's the really the benefit of having this so then you go into file you press print I'm not gonna do that because I already did that and I my camera didn't um, it didn't register so I had to do this all over again um, therefore my images are already printed um, and so I will see you guys uh, right back but at my desk see you soon okay so 
I hope that you found this uh, helpful to see. Now, the other thing that I want to share with you guys is how to... I also um, decided to make my own phrase because I wanted to have some of my own. So this is... These are the sheets that I have. Okay, what's going on? I'm missing... Okay, so I've put in my Etsy store um, these. So you've got the um, all the sentiments, and there's a lot of them. They're either a page completely like this without any borders, or you also have the one that are in black and white, already done, and you also have one that is with a border. So with this, I figured you can, what's fun with this is that you can reprint these as many times as you want and you can print them on all kinds of things. So here I will be inserting a clip on my watercolor of a label um, sheet so that you can see how I made that and then I'll share with you how it looks and it looks pretty amazing. So. I, this is a bit different. I wanted to share with you um, how I'm making my stickers for the sentiments and therefore I'm doing, um, I'm taking one of those um, label sheets. It's a full label sheet and I'm going to use some watercolor on it. So I've pulled out my, um, my Paul uh, Rubin and I thought because of the the different the colors I wanted to use on this I'm gonna use this color here and I want it kind of um, old looking and so that's what I'm doing and I wanted it to be not even um, so I'm not doing this evenly because, like I said, I don't want it to be, I want it to be kind of a, well, a watercolor background, basically. And so, and I want it to fit with the team that I'm doing, which is flowers. So this video is going to be like a very strange video. There's going to be all kinds of portions in it. I hope that you enjoy. I try to put a time lapse so if there's sections that don't interest you, you don't have to listen to them. But I thought this would be an interesting thing because not everybody uh, would know what to do with some of this stuff. And therefore it gives you a better idea and you can uh, after that use it for yourself just want to put a bit more brown I want it all the way to the edge. I'm going to have to clean my desk afterwards, but I want it to the edge because when I print, it's going to print all the way to the edge. So I don't want white spots. My allergies are pretty bad today. Leo's been coming over to be cuddled and that's what happens to my <coughs> allergies when he does that. It's fur all over my stuff. Got to love the baby, but yeah. <laughs> what can I say? I love my fur babies even though I shouldn't be I shouldn't have them. Okay, so I think this is going to be pretty much it with this. Now I'm going to let this dry 
because then I'm going to run it through my printer. And obviously it needs to be dried before I can do that. And I will see you soon. So you saw me make the watercolor, um, the, uh, arranging the water, the, the <laughs> label sheets into watercolor. And you will see soon how it looks, but it looks really, really good. But I also wanted to share with you guys how you can print the, the basically the PDF that it that I'm selling on a digital download. You can print it on cardstock, so you can have it like I did it here on a, a kind of um, beige brown color. Then I did it on some um, more like uh, mustard type of color, and then I did it on a regular. Um, this is. Uh, one of those um, label sheets and so I printed it black and white on label sheets so it's basically sticker and you can just cut it after and just peel it and use it but here is how it looks with the watercolor didn't it turn out amazing I'm just so pleased with it so pleased it, I think it turned out beautiful. So this is what we will be using for the postcards. So we've got, so I told you, it's a, it's a different type of video, um, but I'm hoping that you guys will have appreciated the different tips that I'm sharing because I know not everybody uh, uses computers all that much. And so sometimes it can be, um, it can be kind of scary to and to decide what you're gonna do and to actually use digital images but I really love it because of the fact that you can reprint so many times and I find that that's really really cool so I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna use this as a background I think they would be pretty and I've got a lot of these file folders so we're gonna just use a bunch of them so two three, four, five, and I'm gonna keep a few just in case to line stuff up if I want. So what I'm gonna do is first of all, glue all of this together with on the postcards. And to do that, I usually use my, I use my glue stick as well as this just so that it's very it sticks very well because let's be honest if you're gonna send this in in the mail you want you don't want it to come apart so I will be uh, doing a little uh, section of this video where I do glue this and I share it with you guys but I'll speed it forward and while I'm watching something so that you're not bored out of your mind and that I can actually get this done.
Okay, so I'm back with the voice. <laughs> I'm probably going to do the same thing now again because of the fact that I'm going to be cutting these down. But I want to do at least one so that you guys can see it. And then I'll do the, the rest without the voice. Um, because I'm thinking of doing, of distressing these a bit. I think it's, it could be very, it could be very cool. So what we're going to do is cut this down and hopefully I'm in frame. I tried, I'm so sorry guys about last week that I wasn't in frame for a big chunk of it. I, the, the week before I had gotten the message about the fact that it would be nice if I did a closer look. Thing is, when I do that, then I tend to be crafting along and I forget to check up and I end up being out of frame. So, <laughs> there's, there's not, not many ways about this. It's either I'm in frame or I'm not and clearly I have trouble being in frame. So we're just gonna distress this so this is just a tool this one is from creative memory I've had this forever I also have one that's Tim Holtz so you can find miscellaneous ones and I think actually I prefer the Tim Holtz one I think it goes better Yeah, the distressing is a bit better. But I just want to give this paper some sort of interest. And, and this little distressing is not going to make it, you know, catch in the mail. So it won't be a problem. And so here we go. And, and then what I'm going to do is just glue this down. But before I glue this down, I think I want to try to see a bit what it's going to look like. So I've got my images. And I'm just going to tear them because that's how I like to do it. Just find it gives more interest. And I will, I think, put some aged mahogany on it because I think that might be fun. So there's my image, but I think it'd be nicer if I used some of this around the image so so like that and then I'm going to use one of my words now I thought this was going to be great on this. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> so I'm glad I did print it with in the white because I'm wondering if I use the white and place it on like edge it and then place it on 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 this maybe. So What's fun with this is that I've aligned them so you can just cut them down in columns and then you can cut whatever you want and um, I think I'm going to go with, with this set. So what you could do is, is do this ahead of time and just have them ready for when you want. So, 
I'm going to continue this off after, but I just want to have an idea because I saw one that all is well could be good. So what I'm going to do is cut this down like that and then and then I can put it on top of this so just edge it a bit and it's already a label so that's the fun of it you could of course do the same thing with the flowers you could print these on labels and then you would be good you would have them ready to go for when you need them um, so that's an option as well so all is well whoops and here we go so I'm thinking I'm liking this a lot just like that I think it's sweet and I really want to see that beautiful paper I don't want to hide hide it completely um, usually I would do a lot of layering but in this case because the paper is just so gorgeous you know you really want to showcase it so I'm not gonna be doing a lot of layering on top I will just let the paper, the flower, and the sentiment do their things. And I think I'm at the end of my glue. I want the paper to be well stuck. But I'm really at the end of my glue. Yep. That's the end of this one. like that and pull out another glue stick just want to make sure that it's sticky because <laughs> it's happened before that it's not so sticky and of course my tape runner decides that it wants to stop running so I'm gonna put this uh, I'm gonna glue this together and the other for the other cards I will be putting this in a fast-forward mode with the music again uh, just because you don't need to see me do this for all of them um, but I do want that want you to see the process so it's kind of a way for you guys to see the process without it being hours long of videos because already it's going to be pretty long one
Okay, so we've got all the postcards made. I really love how they turned out. I think the paper from In Love Heart Art is just gorgeous. It's stunning. It's the it's it's what steals the show. So I really hope that you go and check it out. Um, like I said, the the link to In Love Art will be in the description box below. That paper is just phenomenal. I just yeah, I cannot. I can I, I cannot say more about it it's just stunning 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 and so is this one I can't wait and to play with this it's gonna be a lot of fun um, these postcards are gonna be in my Etsy store so go and check them out they won't be priced as much as I usually price the ones that are um, unique drawings because obviously these are not unique drawings so <clears throat> they're gonna be pr priced accordingly and yeah i just hope you all stay safe let me know if you've enjoyed this format i know it's different but i really wanted to share with you guys uh, the different options that you had with g digital images and so that you would be uh, comfortable with them and you could see how fun these little things are so now i'm going to be cutting out a bunch more i'm going to put them in a little bin and then when I need them, I've got them. And when I'm out of them, I can just reprint them, which is pretty awesome. So love you guys. See you soon. Bye.